everyone, it's St. Louise, and today I'm finally doing the video that so many people have asked me, and that is why I moved to Paraguay. And I know for the longest time I've been saying, I'm gonna do this video, I'm gonna tell the story, and it just hasn't happened. Um, so when I said I wanted to get it done last week, um, some things came up, my mental health wasn't in its best state, so, you know, actually I kind of like a reminder that I want you guys to take is to really, you know, take care of yourself, you know, remember to watch your mental health because it's so important, especially when, you know, you're staying home all the time, you're dealing with the pandemic, it's, it's a lot to handle, so, anyway. <laughs> anyway, I have some snacks here. I have some almonds and raisins and my wayaba juice and this cute little journal that I got in Costa Rica that I've never used. Um, and so I'm just going to be drawing in this and watching the sunset while I tell you guys the story. So it all started about 40 years ago when a young Paraguayan boy traveled to Michigan, to the U.S. to study abroad and my family, or my mom's family, was chosen to be his host family for the time that he would be in the U.S. And during that time, you know, my mom, you know, became like his sister. My grandparents became like his parents. And they traveled together. Um, they took him all across the US to see places like California, the Grand Canyon, everywhere. And that stemmed the relationship that um, my mom and I have with Paraguay. And from there, I actually had no idea of these people until 2012 when my mom and my grandma got a call saying that um, I don't want to use names, so I'm like trying to <laughs> think of how to word this, um, but that this you know, this guy that they've been in contact with for 40 some years um, was going to come and visit for Christmas. And so he brought his family and visited us and spent Christmas with our family in Michigan. So after they visited us for Christmas, we actually took a family vacation to Paraguay in 2015. And we were only there for two weeks, but my mom and I absolutely fell in love with the country. It was so beautiful. It was so different than the way we've been living. And I think that really stuck with us. And one of the things that my, I called my uncle, um, that he said to us when we were, you know, leaving and during our stay here was, you are always welcome to come and live here. He just kind of left it at that. And then in 2017, my brother was going off to college and my mom was, you know, not necessarily happy with her job. She wanted something new. I was kind of up for anything. And we kind of came to this realization. We kind of looked at each other and we were like, what if we moved to Paraguay? We liked it so much. And that's kind of what we ended up doing. Um, so I actually had to, you know, get permission from my dad um, since I was a minor at the time and I think he was as supportive as he could be, but I mean I was moving out of the country. Um, and so then we came here in 2017 and yeah, it was not anything that we expected. <laughs> I think there's definitely a huge difference between living somewhere and traveling somewhere and we were so up for the challenge and the adventure but I don't think it was anything either of us really expected um, but I mean it was just it's 
been such a beautiful experience. And um, and I have so many stories of different things that I've gotten through, you know? I mean, I went to school in Ottawa, I, which is which is a small town um, outside of the main city. And there are just so many things that we did that sometimes like I have to remind myself about like, wow, we really did this. Um, but yeah, so we lived with my uncle and his wife for a year. And then after a year, you know, we didn't really have any intention of leaving at that point, you know, so we were like, okay, well, we want our own place. And so then we actually moved into Asuncion and yeah, so that's kind of the whole story. Um, <laughs> I think there's been a lot of like ups and downs as there is anywhere that you live. But I mean, honestly guys, like it's been just a beautiful experience. And, and my cat is crying because I can't let her up on the roof. So now you have the story of why I ended up here. Um, now I want to kind of like talk about like the things that I've done in the past almost three and a half years that I've lived here. Um, so my whole story was kind of like, I don't know, it just ended up being really weird after I moved here because, so I moved here when I was 15 and I went to school and I ended up skipping a grade and um, and I only since it was in like the middle of the school year I only ended up going for like four months and then when I finished that I was like okay well I want to do something else now and so I was originally going to be going to school in the city since I was originally going to school in a town called Arawa and um, so we had started looking at schools but like, I was like, mm, I don't know if this is for me. So that Christmas, we had actually gone back to Michigan um, to see our family, tell them about how things have been going. And I decided to actually get my, oh shoot, what is it called? <laughs> what is it called? Um, I can't remember what it's called right now. But basically, I took a test that let me graduate early. So I actually ended up graduating high school at 16. So from there, three months later in March, I actually ended up going to the university in the city instead. And I went to go study fashion design because I wanted to speak Spanish better. Um, I had very little knowledge before we moved here on Spanish. Um, I had studied in school for three years and I felt like I learned absolutely nothing. And so when I came here, I was like, what is everyone saying? Like I, my brain could not wrap. <laughs> yeah, the Spanish was just not happening. Um, and if now, of course, it's fine. Um, <laughs> but so yeah, so I wanted to go to university to, you know, study something that I enjoyed and um, practice, you know, my Spanish more. And um, so I actually only ended up going there for a semester. <laughs> and after the first semester, um, I ended up traveling back to the US for the summer for one month and I had like a lot of time to think about the things I wanted to do and where I wanted to go and that's actually when I decided to stop going to university and finish a book that I had been working on for the longest time and I finished that so from like August to December and I finished it and you know from there it you know I was doing you know just like working with photographers, modeling, working with my friends you know um, I've done shoots with Teco Cristal 
which is a jewelry brand, which I have this necklace on right now. Um, and just different things like that. Um, which obviously, all of that has stopped with COVID. But, yeah. It's been a really good experience. Honestly, I think because of moving here, when I did, you know, being so young, I mean, 15, like, there's, you're going through so much change when you're 15. And I think because of that, like, I want to, like, keep moving. I want to explore, like, all parts of the world. And so, yeah, one day, when the world is semi-normal and open again. So that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this story on why I moved to Paraguay and new videos will be coming. I'm going to be working on them more and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.